Tumekuwa tukisikia na kuona mitandao ya kwamba watu wanasema kwamba kuna bonge la studio ambao limefunguliwa hapa Mombasa na kwamba hiyo studio kutokea ila unchi yani imekuwa ikishtua kwa sababu inaonekana kwamba ni bonge la studio si studio yani ni bonge la studio eh, kinachofanya watu waseme hivi ni kwa sababu yani studio fulani ambayo inaka amazing sana yani ina customer zingine yani sijui nikikueleza nitakuwa nitaelezaje lakini yani ikabidi tu, tupige tua tupige tua tu tukachungulie tujue hii studio hii ambayo inaka kama kuweka watu roho juu ama inaka kuchangamsha watu ina nini yani uh, kwa majina naitwa Morin John Odide uh-huh. wewe we ni nani hapa Quantum mimi ndio studio manager oh yeah. ah, vizuri sana e, naona kwamba e, Quantum imekuwa ikisifiwa watu wamekuwa kitaja taja e, na vile vile nime notice kwamba iko na iko na muonekano mzuri sana si ina kama imewaga mamilioni mengi sana yao Yes a lot has been invested at yeah. Quantum. Yeah. Yes. Kwa kwa ni mwenye nani? <laughs> Wataka kumjua director wangu. Ah, so maybe ni kampuni ama ni mtu. Kitwambia tu si. Ah, uh, Quantum is a vision under my director, Mr. Mm. David Lai. Oh. Anapenda muziki sana. Oh. So he decided to open a recording, a unique recording studio. Uh-huh. In Mombasa. Oh. Yes. So so vile ni re, ni studio ya ambao ina ina wa on na na pasta inamaanisha kwamba mnafanya muziki wa gospel peke yake hapana mm. uh, quantum is is uh, gospel based mm-hmm. lakini for secular music mm-hmm. hatuchukui ownership mm-hmm. kumaanisha watakuja wata record muziki mm-hmm. alafu wanaenda nayo haitakuwa na tag ya studio oh yes oh so okay nyinyi kama quantum ama quantum kama studio eh mumepanga vipi kwa tofauti na studio zingine ama utofauti wenu ni vipi ama ni change gani ambayo mtakuwa mnafanya katika music industry uh, hapa Quantum tuko na uh, uh, vocal recording booth mm-hmm. ambayo kwa studio A mm-hmm. iko na producer wake mm-hmm. alafu pia kuna studio B studio mm-hmm. B tunafanya live recording sessions oh. kwa maana watu ambao na wako kwa band mm-hmm. choir wana record huko studio B mm-hmm. so the, for Mombasa this is something unique oh. yes Okay na kama kama studio vile iko vile vile mmejipanga mnaka very much professional. Yes. Be zake ni vipo. Jua watu kuna kuna image ukiona hapo lazima ushtuke. Sasa ku record ni laki milioni bado. Audio recording ni 1000. Oh, yes. Ha. Alafu kando na kando na music recording kuna vitu vingine ambavyo mnafanya. Tunafanya music uh, uh, sorry. Tunafundisha what do you call this we do guitar classes yeah. tunafundisha hiyo mm-hmm. alafu pia uh, video production tunafanya mm-hmm. and then we also do commercials yes. as well as jingles yeah. yes and uh, also in the near future tutakuwa na we want to do photography mm. as well oh yes very nice na mara nyingi studio huwa ziko na wasanii wake eh je nyinyi kuna wasanii ambao maybe mmewasign ama wako under quantum Uh, sasa hivi tumesign dada moja anaitwa Pesh Komora. Uh-huh. Yes and we are in the process of uh, finishing her songs uh-huh. and then we release EP yake. Oh. Yes. Na maybe yeye anafanya gospel ama secular. Gospel. Na because she signed under Quantum. Uh-huh. Yes so Namu. we sign gospel artists. Oh. So katika kusign mtakuwa mnasign gospel peke yake. Eh yeah, gospel peke yake. Na kama mimi maybe ni kuna kipaji kikali afu nije ni apply sasa niseme naomba mnijibu sign. <laughs> matifika hapo lakini sasa hivi mm. ni gospel oh na mimi mko yes. na nia ya kusaini wasanii wengine yes 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 quantum is all about growth uh-huh. upcoming artist mtu ambaye <coughs> ako na talent mtu ambaye anajituma mtu ambaye anataka ku grow mm. so ukiwa hapo nje we can easily support you and also you must be a hard worker unajua wasanii wengi wanataka tu wakuwe signed under a label mm. and they they're not doing the work you must be ready to do the work Oh. Sasa doing the work meaning we mwenyewe kama msanii una grow studio pia ina grow. Sasa tuna in one katika hii biashara. So sasa kama msanii sasa ni mpya. Wajua mara nyingine inaweza kuwa ni msanii hata haja hii enda ku record kabisa. Najua wewe unajua kuna talent kabisa. Najua, najua. Because kama Pesh pia hajawahi record lakini <laughs> ana talent. She sings very well. <laughs> yes. Oh. Yes. So kama msanii mimi nataka kusainiwa Quantum nafanyaje sasa hivi 
tunafocus <laughs> tunafocus kwa pesh. Wacha sasa tuanze na pesh. Uh-huh. Tuone vile kutaenda. Hatutaki uh-huh. tena kujaza wengi ata go. Mm. We want to give everyone room to grow. Oh. Yes. Oh. So, yes. okay. Na unaona studio uki studio nyingi mm. eh, zinavuma ama zina hit kwa sababu ya producer ambaye huwa anafanya kazi vile pale. Sio yes. mwisho siku ni kazi ya producer ndo inasikika. Mm. Eh je nyinyi producer wenu maybe ni mpya anajulikana ama ni vipi hapo? Uh, producer ambaye yuko studio A anaitwa producer Master Bram. Uh-huh. Na mjulikana huko Mombasa. Uh-huh. Wajua kabla tu eke uh-huh. producer in each studio uh-huh. tulifanya interview. Uh-huh. Na kuangalia kazi ya Bram uh-huh. ameiva 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 <laughs> mixing mixing and mastering yake yeah. iko yani iko sawa na amefanya amefanya mziki wa Crystal Asigi yeah. amefanya mziki wa Chikuze akafanya oh. pia ya Akode uh-huh. paka Masi Bilai pia shafanya mziki wake oh. na na maybe eh, hao wasanii wenye show yafanyia maybe washitaja mipango ama maybe kutaja taja kuja Wametaja wametaja kwa zata naona vile alikuja hapa kuna wale wasanii wa secular mm. wamemfata mm-hmm. washafanya mziki na yeye wengine mm. wametoka lamu mm. ah producer uko huko the cam oh yes so so far mrecord nani mm. ama mko mmemrecord maybe nani ambao mnajua hii hingo make it uh, quantum yani hingo make tolewa quantum lazima itakuwa pale mali unajua sasa for secular mm-hmm. wakija wana record wanaenda kwa hivyo oh bado oh, nakumbuka yeye amesema kwamba eh, amweki tag. Atweki tag lakini sisi kama Quantum tushatoa ngoma mbili ziko YouTube tayari. Oh as in Quantum based sasa. Yes yes tushatoa mbili. Uh-huh. Eh, na hiyo moja tuli release uh, December Mungu ajabu uh-huh. and then hii nyingine Changing Emotions tuli release in January. Oh yes. as in kwa channel yenu kabisa? Yeah. Channel yenu inaitwaje YouTube? Uh, quantum uh-huh. underscore pro underscore records. Oh yes. So eh, to, katika utenda kazi wenu kando na kwamba eh, mumeji package naona muonekano image ya studio iko vizuri mnaona mko na vifaa kitu gani ambacho kitawafanya ama unadhani kinawafanya mu stand out kabisa kushia yani kitu gani ambacho kinaweza fanya msanii aache kwenda studio nyingine aje afanye kazi kwanza mimi napigia debe producer yeah. producers wetu Nimeamini sana. Yeah. Hata yule yuko studio B yeah. na muamini sana because yeye yeah. kule anafanya anafanya live band mm. na anafanya live band anafanya hata kwa recording. Apart from that ako na vipaji vingine. Mm. Sasa with those two guys mm. quantum itaenda mbali. I'm not worried. Because at the end of the day producer ndo mpishi wa mziki mm. wa msanii. Mm. Yes. Na maybe msanii ya record, mna record tu alafu kwa mfano uh, uh, secular nimeelewa mm. ya kwamba msanii akija anarekodiwa aende zake mm. gospel artist je mnawasaidia ku 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 market muziki ku market as well ile sasa tutaifanya tu kikando oh yeah. in a way in a way sasa ukija hapa ukiingia ukiingia quantum kuna utara, kuna utaratibu ukiingia pale utaenda reception mm. utajaza form kwanza ukianza project yako inachukua siku saba ah Yes. Hebu hebu nieleze siku saba. Siku saba ile siku umeanza ukija kufanya kazi yako unaacha deposit, unaingia studio, mm-hmm. unaanza project. We are doing that uh, Michael to avoid producer awe na kazi kilalo, kimelala. Mm-hmm. Eh. Maana huyu msanii amekuja ku record hujui agency ya hiyo song yake. Mm-hmm. Sasa seven days producer wetu ana, ana, anaweza kujipanga. Anajua huyu anataka project two weeks, three weeks evil kwa hiyo mpangilio that's what we do here so, so we want order to spear to sipata malalamishi ah mimi nimemaliza kulipa producer wako wamelalia kazi yangu naona hmm. yes lakini ile akianza kurekod hapa tutamweka kwa page zetu ile kufanya marketing pia kwa alert watu huyu msanii uh, yuko katika hali ya kurekod ngoma na pia hata hmm. release tutamweka kwa page zetu na we will help the artist as well oh yes as in kando na quantum yes wewe kama manager wa, mze, wa studio unadhani mziki wa kutoka cost una lak nini what i've seen michael wale wasanii wako hapa yani hawana they don't believe in mombasa that much nasema hivyo kwa sababu unapata msanii ameanzia hapa mziki 
kidogo kidogo ameenda Nairobi ama ameenda Tanzania. Mm. Sasa unajua wasanii kama hao wakibaki huku pia inapatia upcoming artists faith. Wakijua kweli Mombasa mziki naweza kaa na tunaweza jenga Mombasa. Kushinda wewe unaanza one year fulani ashaenda hayuko hayuko. So wasanii pia wanafaa wajiamini. Waseme mziki mzuri inaweza toka Mombasa. Mimi kama msanii naweza grow hapa Mombasa. Eh, lakini wao wenyewe wanasema kwamba ni kweli uta grow jina utakuwa nalo. Mm. Lakini mumba, wanasema Mombasa hakuna pesa. Pesa ziko. Msanii anaweza kutengeneza vipi pesa akiwa Mombasa? It must be a hard work. Uh-huh. Unajua reason ambao hao ambao wanaenda Nairobi. Mm. They are pushing. Uh-huh. Wana push, wana push. They are hungry to make it in life. Lakini ukikaa ile umetulia tu, mm. uh-uh. lazima ujitume. Ujitume you make noise in social media, make noise in radio, make noise everywhere. Mm. Sasa watu watasema, "Hey, huu ni nani bana?" Eh? Anawika mm. sana. Yes, lakini ukisema umetoa uh-huh. umetoa ngoma moja unakaa, mimi nishakuwa superstar. Tutakuwa umejidanganya. Budget hakuna pesa. Lazima, lazima ujipange kama msanii. Hata ukisema hauna hauna pesa Michael. Sasa ukisema watakunua laptop mm. na hauna pesa. And you really need that laptop. Utanunua? Utanunua. You will find a way. So you must be a hard worker in this industry. Pale nje mikono. Pale nje kuna msanii, pale nje kuna fan ama pale nje kuna music director, pale nje kuna producer pia. Unaweza kumwambia nini kama parting shot yako? Eh. <laughs> 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 yani advise yako kwa watu wenye wako katika music katika industry. Min, eh, katika music industry unaweza wambia wa jamii. Jiamini na usichoke. Kila siku kiamka kuwa na plan. Nimetoa ingoma, nataka kuisukuma wapi? Eh? Nataka kuconnect wapi? Push, usichoke. Mm. Yes. Huyo alikuwa ni Maureen Odida, eh, manager wa Quantum Pro Studios. Eh, Sasa tunawafuatilia kwa karibu. Tujue kile alichukua ana promise ni ukweli kitakuwa kinafanyika ama maybe ni zile sojua watu wa music industry huwa wako na mbwembwe nyingi sana. Yes zitakuwa ni mbwembwe na wataweza kweli ama bado kini mbwembwe. Keep it to media na vile vile wa follow katika social media zao. Social media zenu umesema ni Instagram ni uh, quantum underscore pro underscore records zote. Kwa Facebook, ni? Instagram quantum underscore underscore pro, pro, pro underscore records records yes. hiyo ni instagram zote instagram facebook twitter youtube youtube ah do you yes. oh tupatane next time bye bye